Supply shortages are driving up demand, increasing prices, and impacting the products that we use every day. New this morning, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us what you need to know if you are buying or selling a used car. How Floridians get around town is getting a lot more expensive, and if you need a car new or used, you have a lot of decisions to make. Because of the continuing shortage of microchips, new cars are not rolling off the assembly line the way they used to. The general manager of Bill Curry Ford tells me they have about 100 new cars on the lot. Compare that to 1,000 this time last year. To survive, Sullivan is getting into the used car business to keep sales coming in. Bill Curry Ford buying cars right off the street. It's driven the pricing up on new cars because I can't replace them. But at the same time, it's driven up the used car trade-in prices because I need those drastically. So I have no used car business without trade-ins, and then I have no trade-ins because I'm not selling new cars. Buyers now won't have the selection of cars with all the bells and whistles and the high-tech options they're used to. So all of this technology that we have gotten so used to, the advance track, the blind spot monitoring, the backup cameras, the front cameras now for, for parking the trucks, all this technology that we are so used to and has, has this embedded in us now is now controlled by a CPU, which is run by a chip. The good news, Sullivan anticipates they will have a full lot of brand new cars sometime in the fall. And if you have a second car at home and you don't need it, you can trade it for a lot more now than it was worth just a few months ago. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.